What up, this your boy Boss, and welcome back to the channel. As always, I appreciate y'all coming through, kicking it with your boy, man, and just checking out the videos. But we got another dilemma with the pond, man. We had to take another fish out of here today because he was on the verge of death. And somebody in here is definitely being a bully behind the scenes. I don't think it's the bass. I don't think it's the garami. I don't know who it is. It could be my pet pool catfish. It could be the clown knights. But we still had to take out our Jack Dempsey up out of here today because he was looking too bad. I didn't want to lose the fish. So I'm going to see you guys to the footage of me catching him up out of here. And then we'll come back and talk about some different things I did to the pond today. Because I don't know if you can tell, but we added a few more things in there. So go check this little footage out and then we'll come back. So the fish that we are trying to catch is this Jack Dempsey. Dude is beat to smithereens. I tried to feed the fish um, just to try to get them to come out, but they not hungry because I fed them last night. I don't even see where the Jack is at, but we're gonna, we're gonna find him because we gotta get him up out of here. Where is you at, bro? I don't even see him. There he go. And I need to get him up out of here anyways before I put the red tail catfish in. The red tail gonna eat him. I'm just positive. The big fish, super easy to catch. Look, they just right there in the front. He right here in the front. Mother, he back over here. I already moved one rock. I might have to move another one. Dude, you messing up my skate, brother. All right, I see him over here. He a little sneaky, mug, man. Got him. Oh, ugly fish. Making me do all this work. Oh, that's how he got out the first time. He can, he can fit through this net. Had to turn the lights on and everything. Look. I don't know if you guys can see him. But yeah, you can see how beat up he is super beat up so i'm gonna have to do is put them in a different tank and treat them for like fin rod and whatever else is going on with them and hopefully he can be back healthy so let me go put him in a tank and i'll be right back now i need to put this rock back over here i had to use this little pvc pipe to try to like get him up out of the cave and then try to catch him with the net is difficult now since i got him up out of there that probably took like 30 minutes i ain't even gonna lie i didn't murk the pond up a little bit but it's time for a cleaning i need to clean the sides of it I'm starting to see a lot of sludge build up so it's about time for a good cleaning anyways but i'm gonna go ahead and add some more rocks to this as well just to try to create like a little bit more line of sight uh, because I don't want to put too much because once the red tail get in here, he gonna need room to swim. But it'd be nice to see a few more rock structures in here. All right, so I didn't think I didn't scare the fish enough. They all piled up in this little corner over here. Super scared. I'm gonna get the net back on. Let them relax for a second, and then I'll come back and give you guys a little closer look at them, a little update on them. If you guys enjoyed that little footage of trying to catch that fish up out of here, see the garami out. I'm trying to feed him some pellets right now. Everybody eating. I just love this pond, man. But yeah, hopefully 
we won't have any more problems in this pond because everything else in here is going to be fine. Look at the clown knife. Super big, man. Y'all do not understand how big these fish are. They're huge. But yeah, we shouldn't have any more aggression in this pond. Uh, next fish that's coming in is the red tail catfish, man. I can't wait to get him up here. I'm not even going to lie, though. I'm kind of scared to put the red tail in here. Just for the simple fact, I don't want him to mess the liner up. So that's why i really been on hold with him. But, you know, I made this pond for him. So he's the reason why I got this pond. Look at that clown. And it's crazy how they just be like disappearing and reappearing. I got the bass eating a bunch of shrimp last night. He's not much of a pellet man. If he gets super hungry, he might go after some pellets. But I also added in some extra rocks. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Let's put it a couple of different rocks up in here. I wanted to add some driftwood. I've been really thinking about it, but I'm like, man, I do not want to deal with the tannins in the water at all. I just don't really don't want no tannins and the extra debris that's going to be coming off of the driftwood to get into the water column. Just trying to keep this thing as clear as possible. We got a little pap pool catfish back there. Good. I had the net off earlier, but the reason why I don't take the net off because it's super hard to stretch it. To get it back on so i try to keep it on there because it starts to get weakened the more and more you take it off the edges do so i don't want to mess up the net okay come get you some they're not really hungry i i overfeed these guys <laughs> i feed so much because i be wanting them to just get fat but everybody else in here is doing good. Next, we're going to add the red tail. We'll see how he do with these big boulders. This boulder looks super big through the viewing panel, but it's really not that big, I don't think. We'll be able to see what happens when we get the red tail up in here. Hopefully, everything works out fine. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Just wanted to give you guys a little update on the pond and what's going on. This thing is always changing every day, and I want you guys to be like, hey, I looked at the video and I didn't see the fish. That's what happened to him. He had to get moved because he was getting bullied. So now we got nothing but just big fish in here. This other Oscar, he's going to be huge. I'm already seeing growth spurt in him since he's been in this pond. The Vieja, slow growing, but he's not getting picked on by nobody. He's holding his own. Nobody's hurting him. The Garami, obviously, going to be massive. The Clown Knights is massive. So everything is kind of like at the perfect size, no aggression. The bass don't really bother nobody like you would think he would. He just kind of hovers and chill. When he's hungry, he's hungry. But for the most part, oh, okay, he's swimming around the little rocks and stuff. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Make sure you got your post notifications on. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we're going to be back with more content because you know the grind don't stop. I'm out of here.